Crikey, Johnny Milton is here. He's crikey along this trail here. I came up across this tree. I want you to take a look at And I saw it was covered in webs. As you can see right here. See here right there in the pockets, the crotches of the branches, it's covered in webs. And uh, my first thought was, crikey, what kind of crazy spider was out here doing this? And uh, do some research and you come to find out that if you have a tree in your home or in your garden and you see a bunch of webbing there, it's not a spider. In fact, it is most likely a caterpillar or some called a webworm. Uh, specifically, since we're here on the east coast and the southeast coast, this is going to be a tent caterpillar that did this also known as a spring web worm uh, because it eats and strings its web during the springtime. There's also a fall web worm, which obviously does it during the fall time. Uh, and you can see here we're on this button bush tree and uh, these tent caterpillars tend to go after quite a variety of trees, a hundred different species and varieties of trees. But uh, as you can see here in these uh, webs, they spin they actually spin these in uh, different layers and such so they can crawl in and out, up and in. Uh, and these caterpillars, actually these webs serve as sort of a home base for them. So when they go out and explore, find new trees and branches to eat on, they come back here and uh, huddle up together. And actually these uh, tent caterpillars, if it's cold where they are, or it's very windy, they'll huddle together and keep themselves warm and protected. And uh, another cool thing about these caterpillars, these tent caterpillars, is that they're actually a lot smarter and maybe more sophisticated than you think. Uh, when they go out and they hunt and they leave the, the home base, their webbing, they use uh, they leak chemicals, uh, pheromones out for other caterpillars, their siblings to identify. And they'll leave ones for exploratory trails or recruiting trails, right? So if a caterpillar comes across a branch doesn't smell any uh, pheromones on it it'll excrete one to let the other ones know that uh, I'm already looking through here and they'll turn around and go for a new branch a new tree and uh, if they leave their recruiting pheromone that means you know pretty much an invitation to say we well, check this one out come come eat which is a uh, pretty neat I think the thing about these uh, tent worms and as you can see uh, they actually, over time, can eat every leaf on a tree as they've started to on this one. You can see there, however, they haven't gotten to the whole tree yet. But yeah, so I wanted to talk today about, you know, some fauna and some fauna, some uh, eastern tent caterpillars. Right, so uh, have, another, have yourself a crikey day and a uh, crikey on.